Hello everyone, this is Chris, and welcome back to Cosmic Chapter 2, and, uh, we're starting things off on a chicken, because, um, for no reason, because, like, I like sitting on chickens, but more importantly, we're starting in my base with a few messages from Valerie saying there's a, a wither on the loose, so I think, uh, to start things off, we should probably go, probably go help her, and, yeah, um, on, on our way, Valerie. I think the last time I properly fought the Wither was with a uh, DJ in that one video. Like since then, I've not really even touched a Wither for a while. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be fine. Um, now we have Netherite gear. Now we are even more prepared than what we were before. So hopefully, even minus having uh, no chest plate, we should be okay. And was this the right way? No, this was not the right way. Uh. Well, we will heading. We will be heading back to that portal later. But for now, we gotta find out how to get to Valerie. Okay, I think it's this way. Um, yeah, you can't really tell between uh both tunnels. Both of them look pretty pretty similar. And uh, this one goes on for quite quite the distance. I heard uh, Valerie is planning on changing this out to ice pretty soon. So that'll be nice. But for now, we'll have to use this, uh, this soul sand method. Thankfully, I do have, um, soul speed on my boots. It's only soul speed one, but it still helps me get through a little bit faster. But, yes, we are, we are on the way, Valerie. We will, we will help. Okay, where's, where's the wither? All right, um, this way, down here. Okay, um, kind of want to set my spawn because that was quite the walk. Um, hopefully she has a bed somewhere around here and, um, Lovely place you have here. I can see why I don't want to wither around, but yeah, I just want to set my spawn really quickly and then I'll head my way down there to help you out. And okay, all good. I am coming. I'm coming to help. I'm on on the way. And as long as I don't sing this time, I think we'll be fine. So here we go. I don't know if there's anything at the bottom. Oh, and the wither's almost dead already. Huh. Well, oh well, we can still help uh, finish off. Where, where is it? Where is it? Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. Let's just run in, run in, run in. Oh, that wasn't too hard. Ooh, and I'm on the way out a little bit. Um, all right. That wasn't too bad, Valerie. And oh my god, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> R.I.P. Valerie, but. We got the the wither, we got the head, and that wasn't too bad at all. Like, why was I panicking? Well, um, so sorry you you lost all your stuff. Um, but you at least get a an invulnerable wither head and a nether star, and you know what? Have the rose too. And uh, I might I might should do I hold on to the diamonds or not? Um, Valerie, if you see this video, if you want these, uh, these two diamonds I found in the cave, then, uh, let me know, but otherwise, I'm, I might hold on to it, and actually, I might even have a look around, see if there's any, anything else down here, because I kind of want to have a, uh, a, um, a wither rose myself, and, ooh, ooh, hello, hello, diamonds, um, again, if, if you want these, uh, Valerie, let, let me know, but, um, oh, and we got a, we got a shulker box, hold on. I found this, just- wait, Valerie, don't leave- oh, wait, 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 not all hope is lost. I found this. I don't know if, uh, this is yours or not, I think it might be, um, maybe, but, yeah, not- not everything's gone. Have a piece of bread, um, and have, a. Uh, you know what, I feel bad, you could have the diamonds, there you go, alright. It's been fun. Me doing basically nothing but coming here to do the last blow, but yeah, it's been fun. So now that our hero duties are done, I I guess we should probably uh, head back to base, and I actually need to uh, to grab a few things and also show you a few a few developments that's been happening in between episodes. In the past few episodes, we've been mainly focusing on working on the house and stuff like that. Well, um, I figured we've done quite enough of that, at least for a while, so what I've actually been doing was, um, shipping in different types of parts from my house I, uh, that I ordered from Amazon, and, yeah, what I basically do is I open up the package, I unfold it, and it 
makes a room sort of like this and I didn't get all the pieces yet but it's it's a start and I also got a little bit for up here it's not quite all there yet but it is definitely definitely on the way up so yeah house is coming along we might work on it again in a um, in a future episode but for now I am getting very very happy with how it's going and I'll fly down here just a little bit just to show you show you the way it's looking and yep um right here we could see yeah look oh and look another one is coming in literally right as we're right now so yeah uh we will see more more construction as this goes along and probably sooner than i think but for now i don't want to really focus on that i want to focus on something else something which i have been doing at spawn so let's uh let's head over there real quick and i will show you what's been going on at spawn and i say me this is more james work but what happened is um spawn got pretty cleaned up like we thought it was a little bit of a mess so yeah pretty cleaned up we might make something here not exactly sure but my contributions come over there that little skeleton over there you see uh that is actually linked to a little realm event i want to uh i want to host and i will show you what it is but here's a um here's a book i wrote down um you can pause the video if you want to read it yourself but yeah um there is going to be a, a pvp event which i want to host myself and these are the sign up slips so far so who do we have uh, valerie hyperion tabby diamond blaze calm gary okay we we have a decent amount of people even myself i want to get involved with this thing and yeah, um one thing which we need to do is we actually need to head over to the um to that one portal we were at earlier because at that portal is a um the mini games district and yeah, over there there's really not much. We flattened an area and that's about it, but yeah, I think my thing is going to be one of the first things we're going to put there and yeah, I should probably explain really what this event is and hello magma. I what I don't need to deal with you right now but yeah we should probably what is hitting me what okay you can see this is happening but i'm are we good now are we good now i think we're good now okay i'm heading in the wrong direction anyway we need to go this way and here we are here's the uh the district filled with plenty of games and uh flattened out areas and yeah, compared to places like the shopping districts, like, uh, this place needs a bit of work, if I'm honest. And what better way to start with, uh, the thing I'm going to be building linked to this one event. And I have purposefully tried to keep this as secret as possible, minus, I believe, mentioning it to the, uh, to the staff chat once or twice. But, yeah, um, to have this event happen, we actually need a, a counter for every single one of... Those people that was in that chest, and I believe there was uh, 11, I believe. I probably should have brought them, but oh well. But um, yeah, what we need to do is we actually need to build um, a bit of a uh, of a counter. And I'm using a design from YouTuber Rogue Fox. He actually made a, a pretty decent one. And yeah, I just need to find... I believe this is it. I believe this is the box. And yeah, uh, I will I will show you how how to build this thing. So what we need to do is we need to build up seven of these lamps, which I believe this is how high it is. And then we'll build um, around using a nether rack and maybe some more of the um, the new nether stuff. And that was just a bit of a controller, just losing connection for a sec. Just ignore that. But yeah, it's a relatively simple thing, but we're going to have to build this for every single person and um, sign up sign off dates or sign on dates ends the um i believe the 29th and as of recording this this is the 29th so in case there is any other signups i will be including them but for now with a um, with an odd number i believe we can work with this so i should probably finally announce what this mini game actually is going to be so this mini game in question is going to be called hitman and uh, the reason it's called a hitman is because um, people are going to be going against each other. People are going to try and physically kill each other. And yeah, uh, it's going to be very, very hectic, very scary. And um, think of it kind of like um, 
Demise from Hermitcraft, if you remember that. But instead of, you know, having to trap them from um, traps or through whatever things, the main way you're going to have to do this is actually through PvP. And you, you could set up traps to, uh, to hurt people and stuff like that, but the, the final blow has to be from a player. If it is not from a player, then it does not count. And yeah, that's what makes it so uh, so scary. And every time a person gets a point, then what will happen is um, I will put a uh, put a score on this board and whenever someone gets seven kills, then they win. And um, the way we're gonna actually do this also is um, there's gonna be a bounty on someone's head. That kind of sounds awful, but basically what I'm going to do is probably around here, probably someplace else. I don't know, but I'm going to put up a, a bounty for who who's going to get hit right here. And yeah, whoever gets the kill from that person, then yeah, they uh, they get the point. But if the person who has the bounty on them gets the, um, the kill on the other person, then uh, they get the point. So yeah, it's a very going to be a very back and forth thing. And um, keep this keep this between you and me. Like, I don't want this getting out to the cosmics just yet because um. Yeah, this game is far from finished, and it probably won't be ready to be played for a while. But yeah, I figured just telling you guys and keep, keep it on keep it on the down, okay? We let's not get this out. But keeping secrets aside, we actually have the first one already finished. Minus one thing, I completely forgot this, but we need a comparator right here, and I completely forgot to get any. So gotta head back to the base and. Pick, pick up the materials to make a few. I don't know if I said this or not yet, but um, in case someone doesn't get the kill within a week, whether they're not online or whether they're just really sneaky or something, then the, um, the hits will always reset, maybe every Friday? I don't know, I'll have to think about when to do that, and honestly, I don't even know how I'm going to choose who's going to get hit. Like, there's 11 people, and if there was 9 people, then easy, I could put them in like a dropper, and um, it's fit, finished, fixed, figured it out. And But, nope, there's 11 people, so I'm going to have to figure out a, uh, a different system as to do that, but for now, we need to just get this get this thing built and if you do know any type of thing like that where you could totally randomize you know picking a name then please do let me know and where to find the uh, the design and yeah then then it won't be quite as complicated to choose who who becomes the uh, the hit of the week and finally this one is done finally but um the only thing it's missing is I'm um, actually pumpkin pie Probably doesn't make too much sense, but if I test this thing out really quick just to show you it, then you will see uh, why we do it. We'll just have the button there just for a demonstration. So, you see, the uh, the lights are completely off right now. If we hit the button, you'll see one light goes on and the others stay off. But And if we do it again really quick, hit the button, another one goes on. And... Oh, it's just a spider. Okay. And then another... Another button press another one goes on and these will signify um points that the um the player will get every time they get a kill so yeah as soon as it hits all the way up there when it hits the um the seventh light then that means that they have one they are the uh the true hitman or woman either way but yeah if they get all of them then they are the winner and they will win um some some special things right now there's a uh another block up for uh, up for grabs and there's um a few other things i want to get in it but right now it's just another block but i promise you there will be more more things worth getting and that was kind of a a waste of um of pumpkin pie but oh well and yeah now we need to build this thing uh 10 10, ten more 10 more times which shouldn't be too much of a problem but yeah it's probably going to get a little little repetitive if i do say so but i think before we get to some of the other uh, repetitiveness let's do a small bit of decoration nothing too crazy but just enough to give somewhat of an idea so yeah we're going to be using the um what's this blackstone polished blackstone bricks uh the mouthful of a block and we're going to do sort of um sort of tent i guess like things that's the only thing i can sort of um describe it like i guess guess sort of tent like where it po pokes right up 
at the top and then it goes down and slopes down i guess kind of like that it's not exactly like that but it's it's the best thing i can compare it to but yeah it's gonna have uh something like this where it's gonna have um this on the outside and then we're gonna have um more uh more counters on this side this side this side and then another black stone pillar and then this side this side this side and then right here is gonna be a little bit different what we're actually gonna have is um obviously the um the black stone and then we're going to um to turn a little bit and then we're gonna have some facing uh this way that way it'd be sort of a, a circle looking out across all the um all the uh, the hitters i guess and then in the center i think is where we'll have the um the hits of the week oh um might have accidentally built the second one without even showing you that i did it so uh yeah i got two in in place nine to go but yeah let's keep going with the um with the decoration because yeah decoration doesn't seriously matter for something like this but you know i don't want it to just be just something sitting out in the middle of nowhere. Again, I am expecting something incredible happening in this area at some point in the future, and I don't want to look like the um the odd one out just having a pretty uh, pretty bland thing. But yeah, I think if we do something like this, maybe maybe at the very top we don't go all the way up, but if we have sort of slopes leading up, so it's at least some type of decoration i think that i think that could actually work if we keep the um keep the trend going for every single one of them i think for um sides like these where there's not going to be any we're just going to fill it completely in but yeah i think i think this could could work uh -oh, we have friends going away never mind they're coming back okay um Mm, okay, um, what do I do? Do What if I go attack them, and then I just don't go by villagers? Yeah, it's a, it's a flawless idea, so... Because uh, I don't think they'll be going away anytime soon. They will hang around until, until they have been killed, I think. Like, I've not actually seen them in this season until now, so... Yeah, where did they go? Huh. Very, very scarce, scarce, um, illagers or pillagers, like, come on guys, I am, I am asking for a fight, and you just, you just left me, come on. Scarce pillagers aside, we actually have a, a pretty good start with, um, with the, um, the Hitman build thing. I don't know what to call this thing, like, I have a name for the, the event, but not this, but... Yeah, I think um, we we have a good good start. We need to keep working on this, but for now, I uh, I literally cannot like um, in real life. I actually have finals coming up for um, my sign language class. It's only one class, but still, it's coming up pretty soon, aka tomorrow. So I really need to put more time into studying for that. Um, by the time you see this video, they would have already come and gone. So. Yeah, uh, hopefully I did well, and um, I will probably let you know in the future. But uh, yeah, that's that's the reason why we have to end a little abruptly. So sorry about that, but hopefully you enjoyed anyway. And for now, that's pretty much all I have for you. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.